good morning and a very warm welcome to all the attendees here hi this is kushali i'm the community manager with jobs for her and today we are going to talk about uh, how the ambassador role is going to help you all when you're looking to restart your career uh before i start the session i am here request one of you to please confirm that the slide you can see the slides well and my voice is audible enough i would also request you all to please type in your name your mobile number and your email address uh, in the chat box below uh, so that it becomes easier for us to get in touch with you uh, when you want to when i want to join you as an ambassador in our group if you see the slide it says if you want happiness for an hour take a nap if you want happiness for a day go fishing if you want happiness for a year inherent a fortune but if you're looking for happiness for a lifetime help somebody so here we are to help someone and in turn get benefited to the various advantages which will be coming our way and how are we going to get benefit is what we'll understand in the slides coming forward so if you see there are almost 1.5 professionally qualified women in india who go on a career break each year so it's absolutely fine to be on a career break don't feel guilty don't feel sad that why this is happening to me and why i am on a career break if you see the faces on this slide these are well established women in their respective careers and they have they also have been through a career break and have restarted to that break so what are the main reasons that women drop out firstly marriage or relocation trailing spouse uh your husband happens to be from bangalore you're from mumbai there's every possible chance that you may have to relocate to bangalore and if you get a transfer to your own organization well and good but at this point of time your focus is more on to establishing yourself in the family that you're going in so your focus shifts from your career to building that relationship which you're looking to going into a new environment understanding the new culture there and developing that relation into secondly is a trailing spouse i myself am a trailing spouse many a times my husband gets transferred to different locations we keep moving it's it gets very difficult for me to work with the uh, multinational companies or to establish myself into various organization that i'm looking into all right so by the time you settle in by the time you actually prove yourself there's time for movement you know uh, so again setting up new standards and new ways gets a little challenging there if your husband happens to relocate to uh, out of india to different countries again it is difficult for you to get a work visa and then again your career takes a back seat the second reason is motherhood most of you must have taken a break due to motherhood uh again you want to be around the, with your child you want to enjoy those moments which you're looking into and that is how you want to be around there and enjoy those moments again your career takes a back seat there and you feel that this is not the right time to focus on to your career but to help your child build in and nurture in elderly care uh again if you have ailing parents and laws the woman in the family is expected to be around them and take care of them and then uh, you turn on your career into work from home options or freelance options or take a break so these are the primary reasons why women go on a break there are many more definitely uh, but if you hear stories from women who have taken on a career break these are the primary reasons which goes into it so what is this all leading to if you see at the entry level there are 30% of women standing as against 70% of men in the organization this is a level where now uh, you are recently graduated or you have recently joined in you're married but you your focus is more on to career so there you the output and the deliverables are quite high you know you you look to establish yourself into the career that you're looking into once you reach the management level it gets a little dicey there uh, probably you have conceived you need to give more of your time to your family uh, you have ailing parents again taking care of them so the percentage drops to 10% and as you reach the ceo level of the 10% which are left into the organization it comes to a very scary percentage as 1% of women stand against 99% of the men in the organization so what is this all leading to basically this is leading to a leaky talent pipeline is what we call you can see that at every level there is a leakage which is happening in and that is what is leading to a huge loss of confidence in you what are the challenges that you face when you're looking to restart firstly you don't want to get back to your old workspace 
because maybe your peers must have become senior to you. The ones who were reporting to you, who were waiting for your approvals, probably you may have to get in touch with them, wait for their approvals to come in. Again, it gets a little difficult for you to adjust. First, you're coming back from a break and then establishing yourself in that role gets a little challenging for you. Your whole networks have become outdated. If you're from a sales background, it gets very difficult to uh, establish yourself because the entire network that you're developed in gets very uh, difficult to get back to them. And again, setting up standards, building that confidence in them that you can do much more better, it's a bit challenging. Also, when you be on a career break, it's maximum six months to a year down the line. You be in touch with your peers, your colleagues into your organization, understanding what is happening in the organization. You all, you know, your friend is talking about financial budgets, about appraisals which are happening into the organization, about new joinees which are coming in, and you're talking about changing diapers. So it gets very difficult for you. Probably you feel that you are not the right one or it is not required to be in touch with them and you eventually lose hope there, right? So the contacts is what you start losing into. The first thing when you're looking to restart your career, uh, you start applying to different portals, job portals which are available. And like every person would do that, right? When you're looking to restart, the first thing is start uploading your resume, update your resume, go to a resume writing uh, service, update it and upload it onto a portal keep applying for jobs but if you see most of those portals don't service the re-entry needs they don't know what to do with the you know, resume which has a career break and where to place your you may get a call from them they have a checklist of things and please understand the ones who are actually calling you up are the executive level uh, hr uh, persons right and uh, they just have a checklist. Is she an MBA? Is she has 10 to 15 years of experience? Tick, 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 tick is what it randomly goes into. And then what? When the career break comes in, they don't have a tick mark or a cancel mark or keep it on a hold mark, nothing onto it. So your resume just sits on a back seat and you don't know what to do with it. Right? So you get the first call, but then you wonder why the next call is not come to you. There's some kind of requirement for a flexibility that you're looking in, right? So at this point, even your your challenge, you must have overcome your challenges. You must have, there's a reason why you've taken a career break that must have overcome, but you're still looking to have that flexibility in your work life, in the timings that you want to go to office, right? Uh, you want to be around with your child by the time he comes home from school. So again, that uh, period, uh, the eight hours that you're getting in is what only is what you can dedicate to or probably four hours and then spend your time in traveling, right? So that kind of flexibility is again required at this point of time. If you're from a technical job, uh, skill gap is a bigger challenge which comes your way. Technology is advancing day by day and you need to have a hands-on experience on what uh, the latest technology is to get restarted with the career that you're looking into. Lack of infrastructure and support system, very, very important. Please start developing the support system when you're looking to restart your career. Mostly, we look for options of the support system. Support system could be a domestic help that you're looking in, could be a cook that you're looking in, could be a maid that you're looking in who can uh, babysit your kid. Uh, it could be a family support. Probably a family has a good support system. Make sure that they keep coming home. Make sure that your child is comfortable with them. Many a times we see women who have restarted their career, they're not able to manage the work-life balance that they're looking in and they quit again. So organization is not going to show the faith in you that you can do wonders when what you want to do. I'm sure you all, each one of you want to get back to work and that is why you're listening to me here. So start developing the support system. These are the background checks which you need to do when you're looking to restart. When you've been on a career break, uh, the organization knows that you can immediately join them, right? So the offer may come uh, in a second, like, okay, come, why don't you join us from tomorrow? You know, so then you need to be prepared. You can't be saying that, okay, I need to find a maid first. I need to have the domestic help. I need to have the family support that I'm looking in from. And then I look to restart. Your immediate family will tell you, it's okay, get restarted. Everything will fall in place. But it gets a little challenging that you also know. 
So start developing that support system. Let that domestic help or the family that you're looking in, let them come to you. Let them visit your place. Let your child be comfortable with them or probably a daycare that you're looking in. Start sending your kid to the daycare. Let him get accustomed to that and get him used to it. Don't think that I'm anyways home. I'll take care. You know, we women have a tendency of doing that. I'm home. Why do I need that? I'm home. I'm home. We only keep saying that. We only give the support to a family that don't worry, I'm home. You're home, but you're engaged with different kind of activities that you're doing in, right? You're not just sitting idle. A lot of things that you're doing when you're home. So make sure that you have that support system developed in it. Again, the work-life balance, which I again shared in. So when you sit on these your thoughts, which bubbles up into your mind, it basically leads to a huge loss of confidence in you. And you feel that probably this is not the right time for me to restart. I may look for it. I may recheck into whether which area I need to do in or which focus area that I need to focus on to, right? So I may think about it some other time. And you again sit with a cup of coffee and then you wonder that why am I doing this, right? So if you see these issues are not just faced by you, but they're also faced by companies. Many a times, why are these companies looking to hire you when you're looking to restart your career, right? Uh, the commitment level at this point of time that you have is much more higher than what the regular employees in the organization may be having. You're more committed to your work. You want to prove the world that I have a lot of potential in me. I can do the best of the work that you've given me. I can give the best of the outputs that you're looking in. I have a time frame. I have an eight hours time only with me. So I have to finish my work in that time, right? I have to get back. You have to make sure you make sure that you're home back as early as possible. You're not left with any kind of pending work so that nobody disturbs you at that point of time. So the deliverability at this point, when you're looking to hire a woman who've been on a career break is much higher as compared to the employees in the organization is right so that is how it benefits the companies too and that is how they run different uh, comeback programs it could be a spring program it could be get her back program or bring her back program the different programs which most of the it companies and the other companies run into their organization uh, keep applying look for the sites that you're going in Look for the companies that you want to restart with. They have different programs. Visit their website and you'll come to know that what are the programs that are getting launched. Recently, EY has a program to restart women uh, back into their workforce. Uh, you can go visit their site. You can visit their, see their jobs on tour, our jobs for her portal also, and you'll be able to apply to them. So that's where our mission comes into place is to enable career break women find a path back into the workforce. So what is uh, the ambassador program like? It's a transition. It's, uh, it's basically helping smoothen your transition back into the career that you're looking at. So the ambassador program is designed to ease a career break woman back into the workspace. Through this, women get to network, promote a cause, and identify job opportunities and career upskilling resources. So we give you an opportunity, a platform to network with like-minded women who are also been on a career break and are looking to restart. So when you're talking to like-minded person, like-minded people into the organization, it becomes easier for you to get restarted with, right? So similar is this platform, whereby you're talking to women who are on the same platform as where you are. They are also looking to restart and that is how it benefits you to get back to work. Okay, this is a quote from one of our volunteers who was working with Jobs for Her. And she says, just because I was a stay-at-home mom does not mean I was a piece of furniture during my break. I'm sure it is a little harsh way of saying it, but everyone who is listening to me at this point of time must have gone through this thought at some point in your life, right? When you're looking to restart, it becomes, there, there must be a thought which bubbled up in your mind saying that, hey, what am I doing in life? I'm an engineer, I'm a doctor. I was well established into my career that I was looking into. I was looking to grow as a manager. That lady who is walking down the road, uh, probably I would have been at the same position at where she is right now. So somewhere at some point of time, you must have gone through this thought that what am I doing in life? Do I really deserve to be where I am? I could have managed you know, taking care of my kid, taking care of my family, as well as by taking care of my career, right? 
of course the family time the the time that you gave to your family was very much required but make sure that you find the me time in you your kids if you've taken a break for your kids they're going to grow they're going to have their own commitments once they reach a higher level so just sitting home for them is not going to help you get back to work that you're looking in if you've taken a career break for your spouse who's been traveling he's going to get busier and busier and busier as he moves up the ladder right so what are you going to do then so make sure that you find the me time for, for you it could be a passion that you had left back it could be a career that you want to establish into it could be a business idea that you wanted to work into so today when you've taken this step of listening to me understanding how you want to get back don't take this step back right move ahead from here the different challenges which will be coming from you from you when you're looking to restart it could be your family is not able to adjust it's okay try to find a company which is which will be able to give you that flexibility it could be a work from option it could be a part time role it could be a freelance projects that you want to do it yeah, as i said it's just a passion it could be art and craft it could be dance that you're looking at why don't you start it now join a class join a area that you're looking at be part of a community which is focusing on your passion of getting back to work like jobs for her ambassador network our women is a community which we have developed in where every woman is looking to restart her career right so it could be any opportunity which is coming your way but you don't need it it could be a sales opportunity which is coming your way but you're an it person share that into the group probably someone from the group would benefit from that idea of having a job opportunity into sales that she is looking into she may have something related to it you everyone is looking out for the net right everyone is searching for job opportunities we may have you posted on a portal but the for job openings are wide right so the the areas that probably which are not posted here you may get it from somewhere post it into the group and people will come to know about it so a little bit about our founder member neha bagaria yeah, she graduated from watton university after which she moved to a hometown mumbai Whereby she started her own setup called Paragon, which helps students get back no, who wanted to study abroad, uh, help them uh, doing that transactions. Uh, like every woman, she got married and she had to relocate to Bangalore. She was doing quite well at Paragon for two years; everything was going fine. But managing the Bangalore Mumbai was getting difficult for her. So she joined. Uh, the company called Campbell Year. She worked for five years into HR and finance background. Again, the challenge which every woman faces through. She also you know, happened to take a break for motherhood. For three years is what she went on a break, and then she decided that this is not working for her, and she has to get engaged into the daily lifestyle that she was looking into. A Wharton graduate and sitting home and doing just taking care of kids is not going to help her. and that is how she joined back kemwell again she went to the same challenges which every woman would go through when you're joining the same organization along that the three years of break that she had taken in she also came across her friends who were not able to restart their career and that is how she decided one fine day that she'll start up her own setup called jobs for her and help every woman get restarted her career and this is where we are right now So, what is the ambassador role like? Uh, if you see, as I said, that it is a network of highly motivated women who have varied work experience. You come, you everyone comes with a good work experience. Like it's just that the platform is what you haven't gotten to get restarted. So, you basically the brand ambassadors for jobs for her. You spread our vision and uh, are determined to restart your career alongside helping other women also do so. So, don't just do for you. the benefits that you give to others is definitely going to reap the benefits for you right so helping others and holding each other is what the entire network is about so if i'm doing everything for others what am i getting in return where am i standing into all this how the jfh uh, ambassador role is going to benefit uh, to me right so it's going to add an extra feather to your hat uh, the role you can mention you are a volunteer with jobs for her Of course, it's a voluntary role. 
uh, mention it onto your LinkedIn profile, mention it onto your Facebook page that this is what currently you're doing it. Also, I would like to add in here one point is like when we go for interviews after a career break, we basically try to justify our career break. Feel guilty about why you've been on a career break, right? So you try to put it up that these are the reasons why I've been on a career break. You try to convince the HR uh, who's taking your interview that my you know, reasons for taking a career break was very much valid. And these were the reasons why I've taken a career break. And these are what I'm doing. None of the HRs are interested in knowing that. Please understand this. Don't, firstly, you yourself don't feel guilty about what you have done. It's absolutely fine to be on a career break. Have that confidence in you and go ahead with that confidence when you go for interviews. That is how the JFH role helps, uh, the ambassador role helps you, that you put it up onto your resume that you are a volunteer with JFH and these are the roles that you're handling. So again, that adds a weightage to your resume. Uh, we give you, uh, you put it up on LinkedIn. So as I said, don't just try to justify your break. It's absolutely fine to be on a break. But try to tell the HR that what have you done during the career break. It could be you know, managing your kids. It could be hand-holding them. It could be nurturing and growing them. It could be managing your you know, daily stock in, in your kitchen. So put it up more into a professional term is what you've been doing. I've been attending different webinars to keep myself updated to the various requirements, which the current requirements the corporate have now. I've been part of a community which was more focused on developing these kind of roles and uh, always in touch with that network. I've been, uh, it could be in uh, house management, for example, uh, managing your finances. What is it? When you're taking care of your finances at home, you're actually my managing the accounts of the company, right? So how beautifully you put up is what you've been doing on your career break. It could be inventory management. We call it Dal khatam ho gai, chawal khatam ho gaya, so what are we doing in? But you actually, what are you doing in? You're doing, you're managing the inventory of your kitchen, right? Put it up into a glorified term, put it up into a more professional term that these are the things that you were doing. In. For whenever a woman who has been on a career break, the first question if somebody asks that, what are you currently doing? And you end up saying that I'm doing nothing. Is that really that you're doing nothing? There are lots of things that you're doing in life, right? So change that nothing into everything, right? So focus on what you've been doing, write your KRAs. What are your USPs? What are your selling, unique selling points that you Make those points as your USPs. And work on that as a KRA and try to work it out, right? You've been doing all this. It's just that you're home. That does not mean that you, you've been away from all this, right? You need to start working on that. So basically, the JFH ambassador role helps you do that. When you see that other women who are on the same platform as where you are, it helps you to build in that confidence in you. You can put it on your resume. As I said, you're a volunteer with JFH. You're a JFH ambassador. Put it up on your LinkedIn. Nobody is going to come and ask you, are you looking for job openings? You have to go and tell the world that I am looking for a job. Right. So when you say that, when you upgrade your resume, when you upgrade your LinkedIn profile, when you upgrade your Facebook page, when you go on social on it, saying that I'm looking for opportunities, this is a new role that I've joined in. That is when that confidence is going to come in from doing nothing to being a JFH ambassador is going to give you that confidence is what has been lost back. Right. So we make a personalized visiting card for you with your name, your mobile number, and the city name that you're coming in from. Just imagine you walk for an interview with a visiting card. Your body language will change. The confidence in you will change when you're sitting for the interview. No, the confidence level that you're going to have on what, what areas that you worked in. Whenever you're going for an interview, make sure that your profile, you've read through what the job requirement is. Many a times I've seen that when you're looking to restart your career, you blindly start applying for all the job roles which is possible. Is that really your area of interest is what you need to understand, right? And that is how it is going to help you. That is how when you know that this is my area of interest and to develop that interest, what you've done, you can pitch in those words, you can pitch in those liners when you are actually going for an interview or talking to the interviewer there. Please understand the person who's taking your interview at the first level are a very junior level person. 
make sure that your resume reaches the line manager the line manager will not be interested will not ask you any questions about your career break he will only ask you what you know about the project he is more interested in knowing that what can how can you contribute to the project so reaching the line manager your resume reaching going and reaching his desk or her desk is very important so be confident at the initial levels it could be a phone call which you're getting in it could be a face to face interviews that you're giving through learn to sell yourself very important this is what i have been i have learned through i have been a, as i mentioned already i have been a trailing spouse and every role that i have taken up my products are different at every job level that i've done i am passionate about marketing so i have learned that my usp is marketing how do i sell that how do i brand when i can brand the other companies when i can brand for the, their products why can i brand myself why can i sell myself that is what you need to learn that is what list down the pointers that you have in list down the areas that you can work into which you're good at and try to sell those and that is how it is going to help you so we make an ambassador kit also for you now uh, which has the a4 size posters the badges the bookmarks along with the visiting cards uh, once you put in the details to me i'll be sending these uh, posters badges and bookmarks to you the posters is what you can put it up into your society notice boards or uh, any beauty parlors that you're visiting in and that is how uh, the spread of the word is going to happen we are not charging you anything for the kit it is just a social cause helping you build in that confidence and in turn we are getting a good spread a good branding that is done for docs for her so being an ambassador any social gathering any networks that you're going in make sure that you talk about jobs for her and the doings of the jobs for her and when you see a woman who has been on a career break please understand whenever you been on a social uh, gathering or a birthday party or a kitty party or any kind of program that you are attending in the first question always comes in is what are you currently doing and you tell them the entire story you know what i've been on a career break but uh, my kid requires me around my spouse needs me to be there and uh, he he's been quite busy nowadays and the entire family story which you actually want to get away when you've been on these kind of gatherings you don't want the family uh, environment around you again right then when you're talking these lines i will also talk on the same lines uh, saying that yeah you know my husband has been traveling and uh, i've been on it's very difficult for me to be on a break and I to again and again take a career break it is difficult for me to establish back but when you talk about job openings this platform will talk about job openings if i tell you hey i'm looking for an opportunity to restart my career and these are the areas where i want to restart with the other person may come up with something saying that hey why don't you check out the options which are there i've seen a job opening which is coming up over there i was going through the internet and i happened to see a career in a opening with the so and so company and that is how the platform is going to help you build it uh, the areas that you're looking into the areas that you want to channelize into the family support is definitely there if you just imagine you go and talk to your family you know what dear i've been applying for different roles and uh, i've been putting up my resumes here on this portal on that portal and nothing is coming through what is he going to say don't worry dear it's absolutely fine you'll get something out of it keep applying don't worry just uh, be confident on what you're doing in but when you're talking to a woman who has been on a career break and who is looking to restart same as where you are standing in and you talk to her that i'm looking for opportunities in this area she must have seen some opening somewhere she'll be able to share that with you that is how this entire networks helps you handhold uh so in fact today morning uh, there are almost 100 plus messages which are going on into whatsapp group of mine whereby they are only talking about job openings there was some work from home option which had come in and everyone is discussing on those lines and everyone is looking to restart into and also taking a review as to who has already joined in those kind of roles taking a review from them how the role company is how the pay package is how the role is so that is the benefit of being on to the group so to sum up as a jfh ambassador what you can do is reach out to women through a social media group to offline meets 
I'm sure each one of you will be having a Facebook page, will be having a WhatsApp group connected to different WhatsApp networks. What do we keep doing? We just see a positive quote which has come up. You may, you must have liked it. It must have motivated you. You keep sharing it into other groups. How we paste that and send it. Does that really benefit? For a moment, everybody will feel nice. Everybody will feel motivated. And then what? But when you share a webinar which is happening at Jobs for Her, when you share about some openings which are there on the Jobs for Her portal, it is going to help the other person also, right? Attending a webinar you know, from a multinational company, the VP of that company, and talking, you know, telling you about or addressing your queries about restarting your career, won't that benefit you? Won't that benefit your friends who are looking to restart their career? That is how the network will help you again grow. If you visit a bookstore, a cafe, a community or the society uh, regularly, you can put up the posters over there. You can, uh, you know, probably a bookstore will give you bookmarks. You can you know, put it up at the desk over there and tell the uh, person, the counter person to share it with every woman who comes to her desk. And that is how you're going to help us grow the network. Connect us to companies. It could be online, offline. You've been online most of the time looking out for job opportunities. If you know some kind of openings at some organization, share it into the group or share it with me and I'll be happy to work with those organizations. Get more job openings from them and post it onto a portal. If you're from a testing background, you're scared that you don't have hands-on experience and you want to then move into different areas, don't do that. Our portal is open for you. You can find bugs, you can find new features onto it. And that is how you can still keep an opening for your hands-on experience on testing. If you're a blog writer, we have you can uh, be a guest blog with us. And uh, we'll be happy to publish your blog with your name. And uh, we'll publish it onto our portal. Fifth and the most important is giving us a reference. Grow this network. Help us grow this network. We are right now 320 ambassadors. And we have grown through the word of mouth. Now, with other women helping us reach out to women who are looking to restart their career. And it's a great confidence that they've gotten after joining in the portal, uh, after joining in the ambassador group. There's a lot of hand-holding which has happened for them. The loss of confidence that they had has built in and that is how it has helped them to grow. So we announced the champion ambassador on a quarterly basis based on all the happenings, uh, uh, doings of spreading the word, helping us grow. We give you a certificate on that level. And we have regular meetups which have been conducted for our ambassadors only. The jobs which have been posted onto a portal first are shared with the ambassadors. And then it is open for the others, you know, for the world to apply onto it. So you get an opportunity to apply for these job openings first. As I mentioned, we do the ambassador meetup. If you see the bottom picture, uh, the lady sitting in the white in the center is Vaishali Kasture. She's a VP of Deloitte India Partners. And she addressed the network of the Bangalore ambassadors. Just imagine you standing in front of a uh, company gate, asking the security guard, going and meeting a VP of an organization. Will the guard let you in? That's the question. And then here you're getting an opportunity to actually sit with them, talk with them, address your queries. They may have some job openings which are coming their way and that is how it is going to help it. The other two pictures are of uh, the Pune meetup and the Hyderabad meetup. So the six city meetups that we keep doing on a regular basis, on a quarterly basis, in fact, for the ambassadors. And along with that, there are various events like the mentoring road shows, webinars, which keeps happening. Uh, so recently, we did a mentoring road show. There are a panel of mentors who come and you know, see you all, sit across the table with you all, find out the you know, challenges which you're facing in, try to address the issues which are going into. And then they address you on that platform. They may have a new, some job openings which are coming their way. They may share up with you. You get an opportunity to share your resume with these speakers, uh, these mentors who are going to guide you in different channels when you're looking to restart. So again, a little bit about jobs for her. Firstly, why are we doing it? Is to reverse the female brain drain from within the Indian workforce. How are we going to do this? Is by enabling professional women to restart their career. 
and what are we into we are an online portal to connect career break women with job companies and experts and if you visit our portal you will find different job openings full time part time work from home freelance projects and written internship you can apply for those so first thing visit our portal upload your resume onto it now make sure your profile is 100% complete start applying for the roles that you are looking at please understand when i'm saying that we are in a, a portal for a career break women the immediately when you start applying things are not going to fall in place it is going to take time uh, keep applying for different roles make sure that you are applying for relevant roles many and times people apply for roles which are not on their skill set and they apply for it and then they don't get to hear from it it could be any portal not just just for her but any of the portals that you're looking in for make sure that you apply for the relevant job openings and then only you're going to hear from the person who's looking to hire that skill set so if you wish to join us as the ambassador the platform is open for you if you have shared in your details with your name your mobile number and your email address uh, you also have my whatsapp number flashing on the screen it's 9663904952 and you can drop me a message that you want to be part of this network and handhold each other and grow the network you're more than happy to have you on board so this is a small video which i would like to play you of uh, the entire summing up as to what i've spoken till now So again that's my whatsapp number uh, you can ping me that you want to be part of this ambassador tribe and i'll be happy to add you to the group please make sure when you have been added to the groups there are a lot of messages which are coming in don't get bogged down with that now it's an active group everyone is trying to help you get restarted so we have two groups that the jfh ambassador south group and a jfh ambassador northwest east group uh based on the city that you're coming from i'll add you add in you all to each of the groups and you get started from there so with that we come to an end of the presentation if you have any questions related to the same i'll be happy to address you all
you can either type in your message into the chat box or you can uh, drop me a message there or you can unmute yourself and uh, ask the question anything if you want to share on the presentation that we did now or feedback on that will also help me improve in okay i think there are no questions which are coming in from uh khushali yeah uh khushali this is the they were from jobs for team only yeah. i think the questions are coming in your chat the, the questions are coming in your chat window so please go through the questions and answer them okay okay jyoti as i mentioned how to join the ambassador group uh, what you need to do is drop me a message that you had attended the uh, webinar and you want to be part of the jobs for her team uh, the ambassador group and i'll add you to the whatsapp group there is a facebook page for the ambassador you can connect into that and uh, then get started introduce yourself as to how many uh, you, if you have a career break what are the areas that you're looking to restart into and that is how it is going to help you even if you have dropped in your email address mobile number and the city name that you're coming in in the chat box here i'll be able to add you all to the groups there's a um, uh, question from kirti okay the ambassador kit as i mentioned it has a v card of yours with your name your the city name that you're coming in from and your mobile number uh, along with that you get an a4 size posters uh, and i'll share the slide again the bookmarks and a badge uh, which comes along with it so what you need to do is the v cards is what you can use for any interviews that you're going in any kind of uh, woman that you're interacting with and helping her know about what are you doing in currently uh, you can use the a4 size posters as a put it up onto your society notice board or uh, you can if you know any company is looking to hire or your neighbor is working in some kind of organization and he would be happy to help women get back get restarted you can ask him to post that poster into on his notice board or share it on the groups there's so many whatsapp group that you're connected in you can put in there the bookmarks any woman you are interacting with share that bookmarks with her uh, could be you, know, you can put it up into the parlor that you regularly visit put up the poster over there any coffee shop that you regularly visit put up there so that is how it basically helps spread the network right even if you're not doing it you are still a jfh ambassador you can still benefit from the whatsapp group the messages which are coming your way i hope i have answered your question kirti ranjana has what is actually the job the job of a jfh ambassador it is not a 9 to 5 job but you are helping us spread the network you helping us grow the network you are helping the word spread in different uh, areas that you are uh, staying in different cities that you come in from and that is how it helps grow the network and in turn as i mentioned you get benefited through various workshops various meetups various <laughs> webinars that we do we make sure that your confidence level is gone high up and that is how it is going to help you build in that confidence level and get restarted you will be today when you are applying for jobs you may think that should i go for it should i not go for it uh, will they call me back will this happen will that happen but once you have that confidence level in you that i can get restarted these are my usps these are my areas which i can work in into it the level of confidence that will grow in is going to help you get restarted uh shilpa has a question are there any jfh events which happen on a regular basis there are many events which happen on a regular basis there are many as i already shared there are mentorship programs there are uh, workshops there is uh, meetups that we keep on doing so we keep on coming up with different events which will help women get a platform to get restarted uh noida in delhi asks is asking a question do you have meetups in noida delhi uh we recently finished a mentoring road show in noida and delhi but as i said we keep on doing these events on a quarterly basis on a on a biannual basis and the different events which keep on coming so you will get to know the details as and when once you are part of the you know, whatsapp group all the events details will be posted up onto the group and you will be able to join in that groups 
Kirti has a question. Is there a membership fee to become a JFH ambassador? No, dear. We don't charge any money from the ambassadors. It's only if you happen to attend a paid event uh, on our portal, then you'll be ha you will have to pay for it. Otherwise, the JFH ambassador program is absolutely free. There's no cost to it. We don't even charge for the kit. It comes once you're given the address, so the residential address, it just comes into your doorstep, welcoming you as a JFH ambassador. And uh, there's no other fees or the hidden charges for it. Pallavi has a question. I'm in Bangalore. How often do we have meets? Pallavi, job for her, is, has an office in Bangalore. So we keep on doing various meets in Bangalore. Again, the details of the different uh, programs that will be happening in Bangalore and other cities will be posted on the WhatsApp group so you can uh, get the details from there. So I think with that, I have addressed most of the questions which came on the chat box. And uh, there are many of them who have shared in their name, their mobile numbers and the contact details. So I'll get in touch with you all. I'll add you all to the different groups as I mentioned. And please introduce yourself in the group once you have added in, uh, saying by your name, the city that you're coming in from, the career that you're looking to restart with, have you been on a career break, Is all that is what you can put up into the group. Fine, with that, I think we are done with the questions. In case if I've missed out anyone, don't worry, I'm there in the WhatsApp group also. So you can always get in connect with me on the, the group. Yeah, I think I've done with all the questions. Fine. Thank you so much for your time, ladies. It was wonderful having you all here. As I already mentioned that you've taken a step forward to listen to me for an hour now. And uh, don't take the step back from your Keep going. Keep well, engaging yourself into the different roles that you are interested in. Make sure, Firstly, take a paper and a pen and sit with that and jot down the points that you want to restart with. What are your selling areas? How would you sell yourself when a question comes up that what are you interested in it? And work on to that. It could be a passion, as I mentioned. It could be the career or the company that you wanted to work with. And that is how it is going to help you get restarted. Just don't sit by saying that I need a job and I need to get restarted. There are a lot of things which you need to do. Update your LinkedIn profile. Very important. Tell the world that you're looking to restart. Right, and that is how the openings are going to come to you. Thank you so much for your time. It was wonderful having you all here and had a great time. Have a good day. Thank you.